What is my role as a community partner or employer? Experiential learning can take many forms and can generally be divided into two major categories, field-based experiences and classroom-based learning. Field-based experiences include those opportunities we recognize as internships, cooperative education, practicums, field experience, and placements. Classroom-based experiential learning can take a multitude of forms including case studies, simulations, presentations, and reflective journaling. While the first group of examples most clearly identifies the need for community and industry partners to fulfill learning outcomes, classroom-based EL opportunities can also engage community both directly inside or outside the classroom. In all cases, the students, faculty, institution, and community partners assume distinct roles and responsibilities to ensure a safe and meaningful learning experience. I think sometimes people take it for granted um, in, in placements. Now, in placements, the placement employer is responsible for those students, but as the university, we obviously have uh, a duty of care for our students and want to ensure that it's the best placement possible for them and that they get out of it um, what they need to and enjoy it and is a health, uh, healthy and safe environment for them. Setting s super clear expectations for not only the students but for the industry partners and for me as the, as the coach and the mentor along the way. What I've in integrated into the process is a, um, a staged approach to the project. So a phase one, phase two, phase three, where I'm able to do milestone checks that are part of the assessment uh, mechanism so that I can see where they're at and give them direct concrete feedback like I said, at three stages during the process. We get to teach some of the hands-on skills, the real finishing activities that would make them very attractive to an employer. So a good consultant, someone who would be effective in a policy position in the government, someone who could walk into a PR position, or someone who could be the environmental coordinator of an organization. So to do that, in the courses, we always try to make them as practical as possible. Certainly from a student's perspective, I want them to graduate here with a much more effective resume. So they'll have a hands-on work placement, but also a bunch of projects. So instead of I took this course, I completed this project for this client. So they have a portfolio that speaks to what they can do. They don't have to say I can do this, they can say here I've done it. We just recently ran an, um, an interprofessional education event and students came together, multidisciplinary teams, we formed them, we had 144 students participate, uh, 20 per team, representing seven different disciplines at this campus, and uh, they solved a case, they worked on a case together, and then we had a panel, a group of panelists, external, debrief the case about how they would handle it, and this is just to get students practicing or, and understanding that they have to be able to, to communicate between professions to get work done to help. Uh, in society in whatever profession they're working in. And so uh, that event was experiential by its very nature. 